Oh, what a lovely day. Oh, let's take a look to the tablet. Oh, I got a notification. Clash offer from Amazon. Whoa, amazing. 42 euros. Uh, laboratory power supply. I should buy. Yeah, right now. Yes. I always needed a power supply. Who don't need a power supply at that price? Up to 30 volts and 5 amps. Who don't need that? Oh, whoa. It's right here. Let's go. Very good, my friends. Here we have the box. Let's take a look what came inside. One well, nice protected. Ah, very beautiful. Okay, one prop, another prop here and the cable and it has a switch that allow us to put it on 220 volts or 115 volts so you can use it here in spain and also in canada on other countries where they have 110 volts Okay, let's plug it and let's do some tests. We got instructions also. We are going to test how accurate is the measurement in this power supply. I'm going to turn on for the first time. Okay. Didn't explode. Okay, let's take a look. We have four deals, two for voltage and two for intensity. The one that is in the top is for coarse adjustment. You turn it right and the voltage increase rapidly. And if you use the fine tune, the voltage will increase slowly. You can attach it to the tension that you actually want. Let's take a look what is the maximum. If I don't use the fine one, it says 28 volts, but if I put the fine tune also to the maximum, it says 31.4 volts. And what's, let's see what says the screen. Okay, the screen says also the same measurement that the voltage here, 12.6 and 12.6. So, Amazingly, this is well calibrated. We have two working modes, the constant voltage that is indicated by this green LED and the constant current that is indicated with the red LED. We cannot select one of these modes. It depends well how you play with the dials. It will select one mode or the other. When it's in current voltage, you can change the intensity and the voltage will be cheap. When it's in constant current mode, you can change the voltage and the current will, will keep at the same level. Okay, here we can see the display. Now I'm going to connect a LID light to the power supply. Now it's consuming zero amps and look what happens when I connect the LID light. Now it's consuming 0 0.16 amps. Okay, now voltage is 3.1 and if I turn up the intensity, the mode changes to current voltage because it's the maximum voltage that I set to work. Okay, now I'm going to do something very dangerous. Put the voltage to the maximum so probably the LID light will burn. Whoa, start smoke and die. 
Here I have a small capacitor and we are going to play with the capacitor. We take a look first. Now the capacitor it's, it's empty. Look, for volts and it's losing voltage very, very fast. Let's see now what happens if we connect wrong the capacitor. Okay, this is connected to wrong. We are going to see what happens if we put some voltage there. Whoa! We have here a manganese bar. Whoa! Good sparks. I got here a piece of graphite from a pen. Whoa, it's getting red hot. Ah, my alligators. Now there are five amps running through the graphite. Look, it's red hot. More intensity, more voltage. Whoa, look at that. It's red hot. Ouch! Five amps through there. Almost 300 degrees. Whoa, now for my friends. For my American friends, almost 700 Fahrenheit. Ouch! Ah! It's hot! You see, very useful too. I don't know how I could live without this all this time. What do you think about this tool? Do you want me to do an experiment with this power supply? Let me know in the comments. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.